the UFO phenomenon, aliens and new religious cultures, the emergence of new religious movements, cults that break away from major religions or innovate is no longer a novelty. Their number increasing from year to year. There has been much discussion about the phenomenon of suicide sects, and an equally exciting topic is the phenomenon of new UFO religions. The emergence of cults that involve belief in aliens. These new religious cults see aliens as another type of human savior, superior beings who will save, practically and spiritually, humanity. They are most often a pretentious mix of religious worship, religious doctrine, science and science fiction. The fact that the leaders of such religions are SF writers may show the lack of realism of these cults, but people are attracted to the new doctrines. What are the most popular UFO religions? Scientology is the largest religious group that involves belief in aliens, enjoying an astonishing number of followers. The cult leader, the famous Ron Hubbard, was in fact a writer of science fiction short stories. Scientology is an attractive mix for some people, a mix of religion, science, oriental philosophy and pure fiction. Along with the belief in reincarnation, Hubbard even invented a way to learn about past lives, hearings, there is the belief in aliens. The doctrine of the Church of Scientology speaks of an extraterrestrial master of the galactic confederacy, Zenu who in the past would have brought extraterrestrial beings to Earth that he would have killed, then captured and washed the brains of the spirits of beings, these brainwashed spirits would have become the souls of men. Another belief is that after death human souls reach the planet Venus where they are made to forget the life lived and put in a new body on Earth. Raelism or the Raelian sect is the second UFO religious movement after Scientology, it spread to America, Europe, Africa, Asia. The initiator and leader of the cult is a former racing driver, Claude Verilhin, nicknamed Rariel. The doctrine says that humans are the creation of aliens, the alien species is called Elohim. Rariel, the leader, says that he was abducted by these aliens who gave him a sacred mission, to show people the truth about how they were created and what their purpose is. These aliens will one day come to Earth, thus saving all mankind. In fact, the same aliens created the religions of mankind in order to convey to people their message of peace and love of fellow human beings. The Aetherius Society is another UFO religious movement led by George King, who said he came into telepathic contact with an alien leader, Aetherius. The doctrine is a mix of ideas taken from the world's major religions, Eastern philosophy and belief in aliens. Aetherius would be an alien. A master who came from Venus to enlighten mankind, as Jesus and Buddha, other cosmic masters, would have done. It is believed that another master will soon come to Earth. And the role of the Aetherius Society is to mediate the contact between him and mankind, to facilitate communication between species. In fact, members of the cult say that they can receive and decipher telepathic messages from the alien race. Heaven's Gate is a well-known sect with one of the most tragic mass suicides in history. There was a UFO sect that believed that the planet Earth would soon be annihilated by aliens, and the only escape was to enter the sect, because its members would end up on a UFO. In 1997, some members committed suicide believing that their souls would be taken by a UFO hiding behind Comet Hale Boop. The Nation of Islam is not just a cult. It is an American organization that promotes the Islamic religion and the rights of blacks, often through aggressive methods. Along with this comes the belief in UFOs and aliens. Saying that the believers of the Nation of Islam will be the only ones saved at the end of the world by a flying saucer. The leaders and members of the movement do not see any contradiction between their belief in UFO and their belief in Islam and Allah. These are just some of the seemingly bizarre UFO-type religious movements, although their existence can be explained quite simply. Because man is, as Mercia Eliade said, a homo religiosus. Religion cannot disappear, it is part of human nature, man needs to believe. But the old great religions are sometimes obsolete today and cannot always provide the answers people want.
At the same time, belief in other alien races has blossomed, and today many do not doubt the reality of civilizations on other planets, for most people this is a so-called half-faith. As a result, new movements that combine ideas from ancient religions with scientific ideas and the belief in UFOs are catching on today, even if they circulate somewhat bizarre theories. For some people today, belief in extraterrestrial beings may be more palpable than belief in angels, demons and gods. Meetings with aliens, why aren't people ready? Are people ready to meet aliens? Many of us hope for film scenarios in which humanity is visited by an alien species that has come in peace, and astronomers are taking this thought further. Dedicating their lives to finding the signs of life forms outside the Earth's atmosphere. Gabriel de la Torre is a researcher at the University of Cadiz, Spain, who believes that humanity could not in any way cope with the shock of encountering beings from other worlds. A survey conducted in countries such as the USA, Spain and Italy shows that among the causes that prevent people from adapting to meeting aliens is the ignorance and extreme influence of religion in everyday life. Even though finding alien species has already become a major concern of scientists and many believe that we are getting closer to finding intelligent alien species that have highly developed civilizations, the human mentality would be a major obstacle to making first contact with beings from another world. Gabriel de la Torre came to this conclusion in terms of his studies at the University of Cadiz and in terms of his participation in various scientific projects related to space exploration. This scientist sent to 116 students from Italy, Spain and the USA a questionnaire that includes five sections of simple questions related to the environment, religious beliefs, knowledge related to space, opinions on life issues or daily activities. The teacher also explained that he used students, young people, because they represent the future in all industries and sectors, politics, technology, science or justice and it is important that all people know the level of knowledge of young people. Professor de la Torre believes that humans are not prepared to communicate with aliens because the Earth's population does not yet have a sufficiently developed global consciousness to allow this. In general, People focus on the imminent problems they face every day and do not take into account what is happening around them, ignoring the global aspect of their life. If people are not able to realize the state of their planet and do not want to help themselves, they will be much less likely to really want to meet another civilization that might look very different. Towards people, they would behave differently. They would have a different moral and mental structure towards people. The latter would find it very difficult to bear the emergence of a new race which they cannot easily control or indoctrinate. While many show no sign of being ready for a third degree encounter with beings from worlds other than our solar system, others are already waiting for it and are very excited. At the species level, however, De La Torre believes that humans would have a huge shock if they came face to face with the proverbial aliens. How are aliens viewed by the major religions? Public opinion, although analyzed only at the level of the American population, has revealed relevant information. It seems that 32% of Christians believe in the existence of aliens, occupying a leading place in the ranking of skeptics, 36% of Hindus, 37% of Jews, 44% of Muslims, and in the case of atheists. 55% believe that there are other forms of life in universe. Asian religions seem to be the most likely to accept extraterrestrial life. Some Hindus have also speculated that humans may have reincarnated into aliens and vice versa, and Buddhist cosmology includes thousands of uninhabited worlds. In the case of Islamists, whose religion is conservative, the option of not being alone in the universe is not something to consider. Jews are a little more open-minded and think that space is infinite. So they can't put their hand in the fire because there are no other forms of life. The Jews do not think that the discovery of the aliens would affect them very much. A Jewish anthropologist approached the issue and concluded that the relationship between his people and God would not suffer at all from the discovery of other forms of life. The Quran also has passages that can be interpreted as references to intelligent beings on other planets. 
but they do not know the teachings of Muhammad, but they have their prophets. Writes David Weintraub, the big challenge will be how people will deal with these beings, who may have their own religion. By showing tolerance for them, we might be more tolerant of other religions. Says Weintraub, Roman Catholics reflected the most on this possibility, especially in relation to original sin. From the point of view of this religious branch, if the aliens are not descendants of Adam and Eve, they may be exempt from the sin that haunts us humans. As for Protestant religions, in which individuals are encouraged to interpret the scriptures independently, things are a little more confusing and delicate. Weintraub determined that the views of Lutheran theologian Paul Tillich seemed to be a viable consensus. He said that God's need for salvation is universal. But that does not mean that God's plan for humans coincides with that for aliens. Fundamentalist evangelists and Christians are most prone to difficulties in accepting the discovery of aliens. For they claim that the Bible makes it clear that we are alone in the universe. Also, in the case of Mormons and Seventh-day Adventists, the possibility of extraterrestrial life is quite viable. Researchers believe that the attestation that there are aliens will not be so difficult to accept, not even by the very faithful. Doug Vukoc, director of the California Institute of Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, believes that the impact will not be as great as we imagine. After all, although the theory of species evolution has been validated by science for so long, religion still has its own version of creation, finding many followers. Seth Shostak, an astronomer at the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence Institute, says that people are already accustomed to the idea of extraterrestrial life. And the hypothesis has been reported in the press many times. Doug Vukoc also believes that religions will adapt to the new discovery and find arguments that will be easily accepted by followers. He cites as an example a Baptist theologian, Hal Ostrander, a pastor of a church in Georgia who opposes evolutionism but who would accept the existence of beings on other planets. The pastor says that they are also children of God, just as important as people. Even if the aliens were more evolved than we are, that would not mean that humans, who can be compared to younger children, are not unique in their own way, and God can decide to create life on any planet. Recently, researchers debated the possibility of life on Mars or a Martian meteorite called ALH-84001, which is said to contain microfossils. Therefore, official recognition would not be a great shock to the public, nor to the representatives of the various cults. Why are aliens such a big issue for religion? All religions claim that humans are unique beings, endowed with spirituality created in the image and likeness of God. The discovery of other intelligent beings on other planets would call this idea into question, says astrophysicist Jason Lyle of the Petersburg Museum of Creation. Jason upholds the anthropic principle that the Earth was intended to house higher beings from the beginning. In addition, there is currently no clear evidence of the existence of aliens, and this can be considered evidence that the Christian religion is right. For his part, journalist Lee Strobel, author of The Case for a Creator, says that the anthropic principle is not the only perspective that religion offers. But according to statistics, the probability that all the conditions of life will be met on other planets is very small, he says. However, the journalist refers to the superior, intelligent forms of life, which need certain conditions in order to be able to develop. But the problem arises only if we think about life as we know it on Earth, that is, based on six chemical elements, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus and sulfur. Ted Peters, editor of Theology and Science, wonders if it is possible that there are life forms based on, for example, arsenic, which is a poisonous substance on Earth. A strange microbe that lives with arsenic has recently been discovered in Mono Lake, California. Biologists and theologians have long wondered if this could not be considered an example of a different genesis that could take place on other planets. During the symposium, one of the topics discussed was the possibility of intelligent aliens being sinners, just like humans. 
Philosophy professor Christian Wiedemann of Ruhr University Bochum in Germany wonders why Jesus did not go to save these aliens, if they exist and have sinned. This is an older dispute between theologians, who discuss the possibility that Jesus incarnated several times. Most theologians, however, believe that God incarnated only once, only on Earth, not on other planets. Unlike other religions, such as Hinduism and Buddhism, the issue of extraterrestrial life is much more sensitive in Christianity. The entire Christian religion is based on the belief in salvation that has been made possible by Jesus, considered God incarnate. However, some representatives of the Church believe that there is no contradiction between Christianity and the idea of extraterrestrial life. Father Jose Funes, a Jesuit astronomer and director of the Vatican Astronomical Observatory, told Law Servitor Romano that just as there are many beings, many life forms on Earth, so there could be other planets. Because all of them have also created by God, 